Cotto's got to start punching back. Otherwise, this fight will He's be He's throwing stopped. back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off, and Tony Weeks is going to stop it right there. They were... But before that, if you are new to our channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for updates of next upload videos. De los Antonio para Oliva, yo quiero una play Olimpia. Escúcheme, cuídate. Listos, vámonos. At 44 professional, too fast to start for his career. Fighters down there, and there's you know longer amateur career. Say there's not a good amateur program. Jose Miguel Cotto, as you can see, moment for Alvarez to be facing. Roll. And he is wobbled by a left hook, and he's in trouble, and Cotto's jumping him. And maybe the matchmaking was miss. He dodges a right hand, comes back with a right. His they solution should, is to fight. He should be successful. You don't know a lot about having to clinch. But he's fighting back he and punched. trying to be. Tried to get at him fast enough. See, it, hurt. it was a left hook that wobbled him. <laughs> Alvarez is trying. For this fight, they're fighting out of weight. Who knows how long he can hold that one. Uppercut by Alvarez lands. Oh, Jose, Jose Miguel. Yeah, this is an American star because really gone. Um, and he, uh, to watch. Looking off the jab in the last thing, clean hit. But yeah, look at, then that's going to probably neutralize it. For the fight against Form. They training together down there in Tampa? Good hard left yeah, hand yeah, by Alvarez. They, they, they train together. They never interfere with each other's thing. Good counter right hand up and under from Chris Alvarez. Keeping Cotto lunging, coming in off balance. In the last minute of round two, that was something of a comeback rally. And and uh, if, if Jose, what Jose Cotto is doing is, you <laughs> after you uh, analyze, see that same thing. That, I see that, it. That's what I was going to say. Like, you know, with six brothers, so he's been boxing since he. Word Canelo. That means call him cinnamon for that reddish hair. Canelo Alvarez. Well, I'm to me, Harold. I was unaware. Harold, for your sharp eyes. Good uppercut. It's a little five punch combination. Let's get a little bit closer. He'll be very effective. Covered from the shock, getting hurt by Goto in round one. He's trying to load it up a little bit. Right there. Hard right hands, up and under, and the body shot. Another well-placed uppercut by the 19-year-old. I'm round and letting him recharge without attacking him. With that uppercut, is well-delivered and starting to gain some purchase. And look at the determination of Jose Miguel Goto, who keeps his head right in there and stays on top of Alvarez. Terrific test for the young fighter being provided by Jose Miguel. That position's to come clean. And the interval. Hard. What we're seeing from this 19-year-old is the great, great timing for when to deliver the shots. And, 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 and what I see is great poise. And he's hurting Cotto with those right hands and the left hooks. Cotto not throwing back. Ten clean shots. He's never been seriously hurt in this whole fight. And it's getting four. Good. Need to throw these shots with him. His punches haven't been that clean as much as it seems, but when he has landed good punches, Cotto is, uh, on Cotto, Cotto has come right back, so he's had a real test tonight. Wait, when he himself is a junior welterweight, but I think he's had a long time off. I've been in time off and to be fighting a good young prospect like Alvarez. Jose, are only one in Alvarez. But Alvarez is very sharp, very crisp, and punching with full authority and crispness. Minute of round number five, and now as the last minute of round six arrives, he does. And, and I, I like the fact that he started early because the fact that, you know, he, he's a very well-schooled fighter. Terrific coming off those ropes. Fight. Most of them are partially blocked as Alvarez is keeping his hands way up. Well, Mr. Uh, Candor over the course of a 10-round fight. Body stick. <laughs> so, Emmanuel, is uh, Miguel Cotto? Yeah, sure. Want to say hello to your new fan, to your guy, right? Yeah, but the guys at uh, Foreman has told him, guys, and nobody knocked out neither. He's not a great puncher, but he's not that bad a puncher neither. 
He took her. Yeah, I'm, I'm being honest. <laughs> no, I have a lot of respect for you, as well. Me and Miguel, the whole camp does. After 21 months in, quote, drug testing. He's just won a fight. The person has been hurt. has been a welterweight. You don't expose against group going performances was that he needed. So he says yeah, it's a remarkable comment for a fighter to make. Fact. Settled into the notion that he's going to tear with Jose that Alvarez has in his head. He's trying to win the fight. It comes, but he's not. There's any reason to say that the punching power is less than what was built. I think this is. It. If we've ever seen a, a, we're seeing one now. Beautiful right hand right over the top. Tremendous quickness on that right hand. Cotto seems to be buzzed. Cotto keeping his hands up. Not really throwing back. Alvarez targeting right hand shots. Targeting right hand shots. Tony Weeks looking, looking. How much punishment does Tony Weeks want to allow Jose Miguel Cotto to take? Cotto's got to start punching back. Otherwise, this fight will be He's throwing stop. back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off, and Tony Weeks is going to stop it right there. They were just above us, and you could see Tony Weeks' mind working as he watched and watched and waited and finally saw the moment.